Natalie actually spent a year and a half collecting these empty drum shells and now she actually is turning them into works of art and home decor. So how did you get the inspiration for this? Uh, well, I was supposed to be throwing them away and I hated how beautiful the wood was and there were so many of them uh, and I needed shelving in my bedroom so I just started screwing them together and sticking my CDs inside of them um, and then ended up running out of room so we started making pieces for uh, the public. Okay, so it was also a call to recycling as well, something out of necessity that you just wanted to create. And right now, your mother, Helena, who's also a partner in HKN Designs, is actually working on a larger piece that is beautiful. You know, can you kind of describe the process? Because this is not just a naked drum shell. Right. Uh, well, so once we got this space, we were able to have all of our materials here and we would put them together on the floor to kind of create the design we were thinking of and then we cut them you can see here like this used to be a full piece and we cut the top off right here um, and the flat veneers that we also co collected we were making the shelves with um, and then started playing with stains and um, just and kind of creating as we saw it and how are they all anchored together so uh, there is wood glue, but we also use bamboo rods. We drill holes into the edges of the shells, mm -hmm. and then we connect it to the actual shelf we've made um, so they won't ever break off or fall apart. We kind of started creating these at the very beginning of cir the cir circular shelving uh, craze, um, and now we're just kind of trying to stay ahead of the game with new design ideas. You also have a major love for music. So, you know, how does that passion tie into this one? It's actually interesting because uh, a couple times I wanted to start making designs for drum sets. Yeah. But uh, we kind of found it's it's cool to make um, shelving and uh, tables and mirrors using these parts that should be for something else. So it's kind of interesting to kind of do stuff like that. Absolutely, and the company has been going strong for four years, and they still have not run out of these empty shells, which really shows that you've put recycling to a whole new use. Well, besides creating these works with her mom, Natalie plays in a band and a youth jazz band. When we check back in, learn how they carefully construct these pieces. Bill, oh, that's this handcrafted artwork comes to life. So we're about ready to meet the H in HKN Designs, Helena. So. She's going to show us exactly how they make a shelf out of an empty drum shell. So well, we cut up the shelves mm -hmm. from the sandwich wood, and this is the veneer we use. Mm -hmm. uh, we basically pour the glue over here, spread it, you know, put the veneer on it, tape it together, weigh it down. Then um, this actually was one of our first design uh, which was part of a collection. And you guys choose to use the veneer because of the look and the weight and the feel? Well, we're trying to kind of match mm -hmm. the shelf to the circle. So we choose the veneer which correspond to the wood we're using. So uh, this was a part of a um, uh, collection we call Bridge Collection. Okay. And uh, so we would glue this piece in, which is part of another shelf. And uh, then uh, we would put like a flat shelf here, which we would also glue and then use the dowels to secure the shelf in. And that's the basically design, one of our most popular one on Etsy. It's uh, user-friendly, you can put anything in there. It's easy to hang. We have, you know, a simple way we hang these things mm -hmm. on the wall. and. Uh, we also use different stains. We can stain it brown, black, uh, keep it natural, whatever people desire. Okay, and I bet you get this a lot, but what is it like working with your daughter? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, answer, Mom. Yes, I mean, that's the best part of it. Um, you know, we go to lunch together and uh, we talk about stuff, what we're going to create. She has a great input and uh, how things should look, you know, we kind of put stuff on the floor, different uh, different circles and move it around. And uh, she's like, well, this doesn't look right. And um, so uh, we work together really well. She does lots of the 
work on website and the social media, which also helps. And, uh, that's so, huge, yeah, when yeah. you guys can each bring something different to the process. Well, Helena actually has a master's degree in architecture and design, yeah. and she actually worked at, designed on Madison, uh, Madison Avenue in New oh, York. Cool. So coming up in the next half an hour, we'll actually talk about the mother and daughter's latest creations. As a drummer, I can tell you, I want one. <laughs> All right, shrimp Very and cool. grits, we're moving on, because we're, we're late, are solid already, right? So this is just a fraction of the empty drum shells that Natalie has been saving. You know, when we're talking about turning it into artwork and home decor, walk us through some of your most recent pieces. So these designs are really the brainchild uh, that my mom has created. Um, this is actually a collaboration piece we have with Fat Plant Society. They installed the moss on this 40 inch piece um, and we use the drum shells for uh, the border for the mirror and also uh, the outside of the piece itself. Let me go ahead and touch some of this. Are you telling me that this is real moss? Yeah, this is live moss um, and it, they actually recommend that you put it in a, a room um, that doesn't have sunlight because uh, it lasts much longer and it holds the color, doesn't need watering. Uh, and it's supposed to last indefinitely. Okay, blown away by that. If it's going to stay green for a significant period of time, that is so cool. Yeah, people love it. They love having plants, but they hate taking care of them. <laughs> it's Guilty? perfect, yeah. yes. Okay, and then what about this one? Uh, so this is a very interesting piece. We have a lot of these very thinner shells mm -hmm. that we were trying to figure out really what to do with them since we can't make shelving out of them. And so we started creating art pieces, really. This, our first mm -hmm. one um, also created by my mom. And you guys are also creating gallery pieces. Yeah, so actually that's really what we do mainly right now is trying to create uh, new designs to have showcased in the gallery. Um, we're showing at Jones Gallery and Perennial Places Gallery in the Crossroads. Um, and all of these pieces will be in there. This one just came from a gallery, actually. That looks awesome now. Is this piece with moss, is this also a collaboration? Yes, so this is also a Fat Plant Society collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, we create uh, the kind of the skeleton first, and then once we have stained it and sanded it, they go in and uh, install the moss for us. Okay, and the way you've stained it, it actually doesn't even look like the drum case. Right, yeah, and a lot of people love the ebony stain, um, mm -hmm. so we've been using a lot of that lately. That's a really nice contrast. And then we've got one more piece hanging out here. Yes, so this is our deco piece. Um, as you can see, it's all natural wood. We love the wood grains um, on these pieces. This was actually, uh, we used to just make a cubby, just a circle with a shelf, uh -huh. and this was our kind of breakthrough design piece that my mom created. Well, these two actually work out of a carpenter shop in North Kansas City, and you can find their unique work on Etsy and at pop-ups all over Kansas City. Bill? All right, Seth.